Hey friends, it's Skezzy, and welcome to another how-to video. This one's going to be covering the bonus XP weekend preparation for the skill prayer. Deciding the best way to go about a bonus XP weekend can be stressful. Let's check it out. This won't be a full in-depth guide for any particular skill, so I'm going to assume you know the basics for each skill discussed in this series. Please note that the prices of said items discussed in the video will change depending on the time of day, month, or year, so please use caution and check the RuneScape wiki page down in the description for more information regarding price changes of set items. The main concern for skills like prayer and other viables is the cost. So on screen, I will show a value in the form of gold pieces per experience. This is the number you would multiply by the amount of experience needed for 99, 120, or 200 mil to get your approximate total cost. Prayer isn't really a highly trained skill during a bonus XP weekend, but it still should get its honorable mention. Prayer is like other buyables, in the respect that people would like to get it out of the way, for cheaper. In the past, bonus XP weekends didn't offer any good prayer training methods until the Dragon Rider Necklace and Perth Dennis Cleansing Crystal came into the game. Let's talk about some preparation. No matter what level you are, preparation is always a good thing. From taking into account how much GP you have to work with, how much time you have during the weekend to spend, to even how focused you are during that time. It can really be helpful in promoting that actuality of getting that 99, 120, or 200 mil you so desire. Clan avatars can really help in getting that boost of experience. If you can hold a clan avatar yourself, that's great. You will get a 6% XP bonus in your base XP. In the past bonus XP weekends, the 6% has been doubled to a hefty 12%, which is really nice. If you can't hold one yourself, you can still get a 3% bonus for being in the same world as someone in your clan who is holding one. This 3% is also doubled to 6% during the bonus XP. If you aren't in a clan right now, you might want to consider joining one for that extra XP boost. It takes 2 or 3 days to collect the anagotic warts needed to gain the scaling buff from the clan avatar. There's still around 2 weeks until the bonus XP weekend comes, so you will have time to find a nice clan that you like. The first age outfit is an outfit specifically made for extra experience in prayer. It consists of a tiara, amulet, cape, bracelet, and ring, each respectively giving a 1% increase in experience, with a total experience increase of 6%. This 6% is also doubled during the bonus XP weekend, which is fantastic. You can acquire this outfit via the treasure hunter. If you don't have this in your bank, you may have it at Diango and Draenor Village, so don't forget to check him before buying spins. There is a first age tiara add-on also obtainable via the treasure hunter. Using the add-on will create a modified first age tiara. The tiara has a few effects that you can see on its wiki page, but the main attraction is its ability to save 2% of the bones buried or used at the home altar. It also gives an additional 1% more bonus experience. Pulse cores are items obtained from Treasure Hunter. The pulse core has a base experience of bonus XP granted to the player depending on the total level while equipped. Once the bonus has run out, the core will explode, granting a 2% bonus to all the players in the vicinity for the next 10 minutes. The explosion of the pulse core can be stacked up to 10% bonus experience. I can't confirm at this time if the pulse core's bonus is doubled during the bonus XP weekend. Bonus XP does not stack with the pulse cores and will remain unused as long as a pulse core is wielded. The scaling backpack is an item that can be earned in several forms as a reward from the Port Surrend invasion event. There are multiple thresholds during the event that will upgrade your backpack. At the 10% threshold, you get 5 charges, which give a 10 minute 1% experience boost. At the 90% threshold, you get a 5% experience boost for 10 minutes and comes with 50 charges. Whether these charges can be replaced or not is still unknown, but it may be something you would like to consider if you really want that 99, 120, or even 200 mil. Refer a friend can add an additional 10% and 20% during the bonus XP to any skilling method. To refer a friend, please click on the refer a friend option on the RuneScape homepage. Beach potions are a useful way of gathering a bit of extra experience. The anti-sun potion gives a 5% experience boost to any activity done on the beach for the next 24 hours after consuming. Presets can be very helpful in aiding your experience per hour. Normally, I would have 28 dragon type bones of choice as my inventory preset, along with the full first age gear minus the amulet with the addition of the dragon rider amulet as my outfit for set. You may wear anything else you want for fashion, but the main items are shown in the video. You can use the one or two keys on your keyboard to capture your preset and press the escape key like I do in the video. From there, you want to either press and hold the keybind for the bones of your choice you are burying, or press the keybind constantly until your inventory is buried. You can do this at any point. Another concern is what to actually do for the training. I don't recommend doing cremation. This method yields 250% experience per bone and 200 
100% normal bearing experience as fire making experience, but it doesn't stack with brawler gloves or the bonus XP weekend. Please don't waste your time prepping for a method that cannot be done during the weekend. I also do not recommend player owned altar training even though you get 400% experience per bone normally. Again, this method is trash during the bonus XP as it doesn't work. There are two methods I can recommend. One discussed previously as the Dragon Rider variant. The Dragon Rider necklace doubles the experience of a dragon type bone when buried. This may not seem like much, but coupled with the bonus XP weekend or even a double XP aura such as the summer aura, it can be 400% of a normal dragon type bone, comparable to a player of altar. But the fact that you can bury bones faster than offering it an altar makes this a recommended choice. Here are some bones I would recommend and their respective levels, GP per XP and XP rates on the screen now. Please pause the video. The other method I can recommend is Crystal Cleansing. Although this method takes prep work, that's why you clicked on this video. You can train this method two ways. Firstly, you can use the crystal to cleanse the corrupted Seren Stone by AFK. 29 stones can be used within an hour. This will provide 294,000 experience and cost 11.22 coins per experience. During the Voice of Seren, specifically the Heaven Clan, you will gain 20% more experience, jolting you to a 352 1,800 experience per hour and cost 9.35 coins per experience. You can even stack more experience on this method by downing a perfect juju prayer potion, increasing your experience by 5%. This only works for the cleansing crystals, by the way. The second way to train this method is to bypass the mechanic of AFK altogether. At the start of the cleanse, you get a 2,100 experience drop followed by a 275 experience drop every 6 seconds until it ends, and a final 2,475 experience drop. Skipping the 275 and 2,475 experience drops will yield in a much higher rate of cleansing, or rather, experience. There are 5 ticks, or 3 seconds between each crystal being consumed, giving 2,100 experience each. This yields in a total experience rate of 2,520,000 experience per hour, cost 52.38 gold coins per experience. With all the bonuses that RuneScape has to offer, as you can see on the video, I have different experience rates with all the different bonuses that you can have, the bonus XP, the total experience boost you will require on bonus XP, XP per hour per method, GP per XP per method, and then GP per XP on a bonus XP weekend. The last concern you might have is how much experience can I actually get during the bonus XP weekend? I will show a value on screen in the form of experience per hour. This is a number you would multiply by the numbers of hours that you would train your skill to get the total amount of experience gained. Towards the end of the video, I will show the total time it would take for 99, 120, and 200 mil. Here we can see we have the time for 99, so basically you're just multiplying the amount of experience that you have at 99, which is around 13 million XP, and then you just multiply, you just divide it, sorry, by the experience per hour, and this will take you around 16 hours during bonus XP. You can easily get 99 during bonus XP weekend doing any, really any of these methods. Now it would only take you two hours to get it doing the crystal cleansing, just you know clicking on it as the first XP drop. It would take you 10 hours doing Dragon Bones, 4 hours for Frost Dragon, almost 4 hours for Adamant, and 5 for Rune. Sorry, I had those two mixed up. Rune is the one that is almost 4 hours, and then almost 5 hours would be your Adamant Dragon Bones. Now, for the time for 120, you have, you know, let's say you, you're starting from 0. We'll just do it like that, even though technically, I guess you would start from 99 or that you start at, I guess it would be like, I don't know what it was, but we can just say 104 mil, that's approximately what it is, and then we divide it by the experience per hour. Now this one is a little more, uh, more time taken, of course if you do the AFK cleansing method you probably won't have enough time during bonus XP weekend to get that, so I don't really advise that, even though it is the cheapest out of all the methods that I have listed here. It would only take you 15 hours to do it via the cleansing crystal, um, just clicking on it every single time. Now, it would cost you um, 19 GP per XP, and I'll show a tab how much it would actually cost for each one of these, uh, just in a moment. But for 200 mil, you have the 200 mil. Excuse me. 200, 000, 000, 000, divided by 
the experience per hour. Now, basically it's uh, double, I guess, of the time for 120, pretty much. Um, it would take 250 hours for you to get 200 mil off of AFK cleansing. 28, 29 hours for the sped up cleansing. 153 hours for dragon bones. 61.1 hours for frost dragon. 58 hours, just under 58 hours for rune dragon bones. And 76.4 hours for adamant. And I took the liberty to just calculate the costs for you real quick. It would cost you about 53 mil to get 99 with the AFK cleansing cost you around 250 mil for 99 for the AF, not for the not AFK cleansing 63 using dragon 173 for frost dragon 200 mil for rune and 141 or 142 for adamant now for the cost for 120 it would be 424 mil for the AFK cleansing it would cost you two bill for the cleansing non AFK 500 mil for dragon 1.4 bill for frost 1.6 bill for rune and 1.1 bill for Addy. And if you want to go all the way for the 200 mil, it'll cost you 816 mil for the AFK. Now, then again, it would it will cost it would take you 250 hours, which for most people is a couple of months. For someone like me, it's a little under a month. And for someone who's really hardcore, they're playing 100 hours every week. This is um, this is not really my idea like this is not what i would recommend but again if you don't have the money if you do have the time you don't have the money then this would be the one for you the cleansing would cost almost four billion for 200 mil which is what i paid i think i maybe paid like three bill i did the i did frost dragon bones back when um actually that doesn't matter one bill for dragon 2.7 bill for frost, 3.1 bill for rune, and 2.2 bill for Addy. Now these prices, again, they're going to change depending on time of day, year, month, um, all that jazz. Basically, to sum it up, you choose what method you want to do. All these methods are viable during the bonus XP. This is what it would cost for each of the different methods for each of the different goals. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please stay tuned for the next video of the how-to, probably sometime next week, I'm going to go over fletching. If I've left anything out or you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask in the comment section below. Thanks guys for watching. Peace. Thank you very much for watching the video. I hope you guys enjoy it and uh, I will see you next time. Peace.